Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I want to start by saying this. Raila Amolo Odinga is a well-known politician. He has not started his politics this year. Neither is he a visitor in the politics of the Republic of Kenya. Number two, William Ruto, who is the president of the Republic of Kenya, also is understanding who is Raila Amolo Odinga. And he understands very well the traps of Raila Amolo Odinga. He's a man that when it comes to strategizing towards mobilizing people against the government, William Samuruto do understands very well. In fact, if you ask William Ruto today about the politics and the moves of Raila Murudinga, I'm sure that William Ruto cannot take Raila Murudinga for granted. The reason why I have prepared this video, ladies and gentlemen, is because I have decided to come out to elaborate and clarify the trap that Raila Murudinga has already identified that is easy for William Ruto to fall in. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a visitor for the first time and you have not subscribed to this channel, please do me a favor. Ensure that you subscribe to this channel you put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified automatically by YouTube. For those who are returning subscribers, thank you so much. Please consider liking this video. Now, back to main business. Raila Morudinga has come out to understand how he's going to ensure that William Ruto and their brigades that are bragging day in, day out how they are going to fall in his trap. And the trap that always Raila Murudinga is having, number one, is the people of the Republic of Kenya. It is well known, and that is why, <laughs> yesterday, while William Sumuruto was in Embu, during a church, serv church service, he came out telling Kenyans that my government is ready to offer security to the demonstration of the Raila Murodinga. Do you understand why that man is saying that? It is not out of his happiness. It is something that has forced him to accept the reality that he cannot fight Raila Murudinga, one. Number two, he cannot fight the people who are going to be part of that demonstration and protest. So William Ruto to come out to tell Kenyans through demanding or directing the Cabinet Secretary of Interior Security to offer security to Raila Murudinga, literally, it was not something that was freely coming from his heart, but it's something that is, it is like a force. He must do it. Number two, if William Samaruto wants to fall to Raila Murudinga's trap, which according to me, he has already been terrified towards the decisions, strategies, and type of mobilization that mobilization that Raila Murudinga has started yesterday. That even he's afraid to fight this protest or demonstration through tear gassing or mobilizing police to, of course, destroy the demonstration and protest. I want to say this. Raila Murudinga, through, according to what I do understand him, he always understands people more than even leaders. And I want to <laughs> give you an idea. 
Leave these leaders, member of parliament that has been elected, jumping to Kenya Kwanza Alliance, meeting William Ruto day in, day out. Raila Muludinga understands how he's going to do it. And don't worry, as time goes by, you will understand what I'm saying. That is not so much dependable to those leaders who are migrating from Azimio to Kenya Kwanza. Why? Because amejua kutegua hayo mipango yote hawa watu wampeleka Kenya Kwanza. And he's doing, going to do it. I want to ask you a simple question. Who, understood, uh, who was understanding that Raila Muludinga could have come again in, 20, in 20, uh, 2022, after 2017, and after 2013, vying again as a presidential candidate? And I have understood uh, many people came out saying that Raila Muludinga was done after that election of 2017. What did Raila Muludinga do? Did? What did Raila Muludinga did? He came out through the people. The same same thing he used in 2007. He used it in 2013 to mobilize people. He used it in 2017 to mobilize people. And also he used it, he's going to start using it in 2022. Some people, they are coming already to say, that we are not ready to associate with the demonstration and protest. Mark my words. Mark my words. As a young Kenyan, Raila Muluding is going to manage to pull a huge crowd towards demonstration and protest. And remember, I've heard many people talking about that the demonstration and protest of Raila Muludinga is all about the IBC Commission. Not there are many issues that are going to impact many Kenyans to come in to the demonstration. I told you that if any case, this issue of IEBC was the only issue that Raila Muldinga was going to the street, then it could have been very difficult for him to pull the huge crowds. But there are many issues. Number one, IEBC issues. Number two, the price of Unga. Number three, the price of fuel. Number four, the issue of Hustler Fund. Even though the Hustler Fund has been launched, the issue that is going to be there is that those who have been given money have had Babu Wino say that they should not refund that money. So literally it's showing a certain indication that ladies and gentlemen, things are not on the right direction for William Samaruto because he is also playing his safe game. William Ruto is not a stupid man. He is also very keen playing safe game, game running on his lane and ma maintaining his pace. The same Raila Muldig is doing it. So to ensure that he's not going to fall to the trap on the lane of Raila Muludinga, he must ensure that he knows how to handle Raila Muludinga. Or else, Raila Muludinga is going to overcome him through the people of the Republic of Kenya. And any president of all over the world, they're always uh, terrified by the must action. Not even these local leaders. And that is why a president is safe having the mass support than having a bigger percentage support from member of parliament. So this member of parliament that are migrating from Azimio to Kenya Kwanza, some of them does not even have mass support. So Raila Muldinga understands how he's going to do it. So whatever we are waiting, that day, date seven on Wednesday, and even before that, Raila Muluding is already pulling huge crowds. Yesterday he was in Embakasi, Utawala. You could see the, the indication. And even people were having uniforms. Showing Kiamba peace. So the indication is that William Samaruto, like it or not, this demonstration is going to, uh, to continue. You provide security, you don't provide. In fact, Raila Muludinga has come out 
to say that we don't need our EU security. We know how we are going to do it. So William Ruto is terrified for entering to Williams to Raila Moludinga's trap. And Raila Moludinga's trap is that he's using people or mass action to demand whatever it is right and to destroy this dictatorship that is being built. So ladies and gentlemen, what are your opinion towards the analysis? Give your reason at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much. Consider liking this video and sharing. Bye-bye.